Hello everybody, it's me Charlotte and today I'm going to teach you guys how to crochet a washcloth or a dishcloth or you could even do a rug or just anything using the moss stitch. Um, so I think it's going to be pretty exciting. It's really easy. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. All you really need to know to do to do this stitch is how to chain, how to make a chain and how to single crochet. So if you can do those two things, you'll have no problem with this. Um, before we get into it though, real quick, I want to say thank you for everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you for liking and commenting and sharing my videos. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so now. And if you'd like to follow me on Facebook, there will be a link in the description below. All right, how to crochet a washcloth or a dishcloth or anything you want using the moss stitch. Um, starts out like anything else, you need a slip knot. So I made my slip knot inserting my crochet hook. Today I'm just using some cotton and this hook is a little too big for the size of yarn I'm using. This is a 5.5 millimeter. Um, I would recommend a 5 if you're using just a 4 or a worsted weight cotton. And if you're making a washcloth or dishcloth, I do recommend cotton. It kind of holds up a little better. Keep that in mind. Alright, so we have our slip knot. Now we're going to make a chain. And if you haven't already seen my first video on crochet. Um, I go over the slip knot really slow, I go over how to make a chain really slow, and how to single crochet. So if you'd like to check that video out, there will be something on the screen there you can click on and it will take you to that video. Practice it, then come back to this video and we'll make this. Um, okay, to do this, you want to chain an even number of stitches. So, just an even number. I think for this, I'm going to chain probably 14. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, if you're going to make a washcloth or dishcloth or whatever, you just keep on making your chain until it is long enough or wide enough as you want it to be. Just make sure that it's an even number. And then to start, we've gone over this before, on this side of your chain you have this nice braid. On this side of your chain you have these little like humps. I always work on this side of my chain doing my first row. Um, I think it looks nicer and neater. So this is the side I prefer to work in. And what you want to do to start the moss stitch is you want to count the fourth chain from your hook. So here's your hook. You have one hump here two humps, three humps, here's your fourth hump. So what you're going to do is you're going to insert your hook into that fourth hump, grab some of your yarn, pull it through, grab some more yarn, and pull it through both. Okay, now you're going to chain one. Just like making our chain, we're going to grab some yarn and make one chain. Now we're going to skip the next hump skipping that next hump and we're going to work into the next hump, the following hump, by doing the same thing. Inserting our hook, bringing up some yarn, pulling it through, grabbing some more yarn, pulling it through both. Again, we're going to make another chain. Skip the next hump, work into the one directly next to it, insert your hook, bring up some yarn, grab some more yarn, bring it through both. Again, make one chain. And you're going to continue that, skipping one, working into the next, grabbing some yarn, pulling it through, grab some more yarn, pull through both. That's a single crochet. Then you're going to chain one. Skip the next one, go directly into the next one, insert your hook, pull up some yarn, grab some more yarn, go through both. Again, chain one. We're going to skip the next uh, hump and we're going to go directly into the last hump. If you did your numbers correctly, your last stitch will be in the very last hump. Again, insert our hook into that last stitch and sometimes the last one on the chain can be a little tricky to get into. Just work at it. Bring up some yarn through that last hump. Grab some more yarn and go through both. Okay, we completed the chain or the row one. Now we're going to chain two. So you're going to go one, two. And now you're going to turn your work. And now it's really easy after this. 
these holes, see this big hole right here? You have your last stitch you did right here. It's kind of solid. And then you have a big gapping hole, a solid stitch where you made your stitch, and then another hole. These are your chain one spaces that you did on the previous round. So what you do, when you start your new round, you know, you chain your two, and then you want to take your hook and go right into that hole. You don't have to look for stitches, just look for the hole. And make a single crochet, chain one, find your next big hole, put your hook through there, make a single crochet, chain one. Again, you just go into the hole, single crochet, chain one, find the hole, single crochet, chain one, find the next big hole, single crochet, chain one, and then the last one, it'll be the last little hole right there. You just want to go right in there and do a single crochet, and then when you're on their very end, you want to chain two. So one and two. Turn your work, and now it's the same thing, guys. You skip that solid stitch right here, and there's like a big hole. Here's our last stitch we made. Here's that big hole. You want to put your hook through there, single crochet, chain one, skip that solid stitch, find your hole, single crochet, chain one, same thing guys. And you just continue this all the way until it works as long as you want it to. And again here at the very end, you just want to find that very end piece. Sometimes you have to pull it apart a little bit, but there's a hole at the very, very end. You just want to single crochet into that hole and then chain two because this is the end of the row. Turn your work and you continue doing that. Find your hole, single crochet, chain one, find your hole, single crochet, chain one, and that's it guys. And you keep doing this until your work is as long as you want it to be, and then I'll show you how we, it's not, ca not cast off, bind off, how we finish up. Um, here's my last one. Okay, I'm going to chain one. When I'm at my very, very end, I'm going to chain one. Actually, no, I'm going to chain two. Chain two. Very end, right before you want to finish. This was my last row. I want to finish now. Chain two. And what you can do is you can go into that hole like normal, and then instead of grabbing any more yarn, you can just take, let me show this a little slower, go into that hole, pick up your yarn, keep it on your hook, now take that same bit of yarn and just bring it through that last stitch. Okay, and you can chain one again if you want. That's a slip stitch. Chain one, go into that hole, bring up your yarn, and just take that yarn that's now on your hook and just pull it through. Chain one, go through that hole, take that chain, that yarn that's now on your hook and just pull it through. Chain one, go into that hole, put that, it's a slip stitch, and that's how we're going to finish off here. Go into that last hole, just bring it through, and then at the very end, you can see it's all finished off. You can go ahead and take this pull it through. In a real world you would have probably some scissors. I just had to break my yarn. You have that last one there. Pull it through. Make your knot. And there it is. All finished. And like I said guys, this makes perfect for rugs, washcloths, dishcloths. You could even do a blanket in this and some bulky yarn. Nice little baby blanket, variegated. It would look nice in any way, but that is what it looks like. And like I said, it's very easy. Just, you need to know how to chain, you need to know how to count, and you need to know how to do single crochet. If you got those things mastered, you are good to go. All right, guys, that's it for today. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so now. And if you'd like to follow me on Facebook, that link will be in the description below. So until next time, guys, I hope you all have a super wonderful, fabulous day, and happy crocheting. Bye.